Actually, we found out after like so many years and after like so many movies, right? All along, we have been cheating on our partners. We are cheaters. <laughs> we cheat on them with. Hi everyone, I'm Brian, the entertainment writer at Asia One, and welcome to our sixth episode of e Junkies. So today we have an incredibly special episode. We're actually going to meet the cast of uh, A Voice to Men, and we're going to host a little mini reunion right here. And uh, for those of you guys who are unaware, A Voice to Men was made available on Netflix Singapore and actually topped the list of, of, of the trending shows in Singapore when it came out. So we're very excited to have Noah, Maxi, and Joshua here with us. Without further ado, let's welcome them onto our show. Hi guys, thank you for joining me on e Junkies and thank you for agreeing to our little Our Boys the Man reunion. It's quite exciting. And uh, joining us now we have Maxi, we have Joshua, we have Noah. So just say hi to the camera guys and you know let us hear your beautiful voices. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right in. It's been eight years, you know, since the first film came out. La. Looking back at the entire film series, what are your thoughts about it? We never expected that the movie will, will blow up to be so big, you know. We were actually uh, in the Kong discussing where we will go and what we will do after the movie has. Because we thought it would just be only a one-time thing, you know. Mm. Like a good experience and then we all can move on from here and tell. You know, because like we were new actors, we didn't think that nobody mm. would actually watch us. La. Abos to Man has, has been a huge blessing so far and I think I can speak for everyone when I say that. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in. Like I remember our very first fan meet. We had like five people present at, at the fan meet and like nine actors and like one director. So we outnumbered the people there actually. Back then I thought it was normal because it was my <laughs> first ever like public appearance uh, as an actor. And then like fast forward yeah. to like part two. I think we had like 3,500 people at Boogies Plus just waiting for us and that was insane. Yeah. So just to expand a little bit, I'm curious, at the first family when you guys outnumbered number of fans, was it very awkward? No, actually, I, I no. Think we no, 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 it, no, it, it was no. It was awkward, you know why? La? Because why? most of the fans there were mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, there were like four Noah Young fans and one Joshua sister, I think that's all. But it's okay, we made the crowd grow because we were like mm, catch mm. bystanders and like ask them, hey, come join us, join us. We just didn't know what was normal. We didn't know how to behave. Mm, I correct, think correct, we correct. still don't quite know how to behave. Okay, so kind of just to expand a bit on your experiences, what was the funniest or maybe the most ridiculous experience you've had on set? For myself, I don't know if my story is the funniest, uh, but we know mm. that Tekong is famous for ghost stories. Mm -hmm. So there was this cast member, when we were doing a uh, night shoot, he liked to scare us, you know, in the middle of the night. So he would jump from the bush and scare us. So there was this time we were shooting in the forest. This time he decided to upgrade his scare. Instead of the bush, I go throw some bunker or some MG mount or something and hide inside. He heard some footsteps approaching him, so he went out and shouted. Uh, but mm -hmm. what? there was nobody there. Oh, yeah. so that might, be, that might be a true... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural. So he came to us, he came to us, hey guys, 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 sorry. Wow, I'm going to scare you man. But when I jump out, there's nobody there. Then everybody say, oh, Liao. Yeah, then sure enough, uh, after that, he got very, very sick, like 40 degrees fever. Then he had to leave our uh, set for about one to two weeks. And he was in the hospital for like, uh, yeah, oh, wow. two weeks like that. So the doctor couldn't find what's wrong with him. Then apparently after that he went to the spiritual medium or something. The the tanki decided to give him one tight slap. Then after that he recovered. Max, you realize that he asked us what's the funniest thing like Gao Xiao? Yeah, <laughs> memorable, bro. <laughs> memorable. He's okay. You see, not laughing at all, bro. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay because our you, our listeners you, also like those stories. So I think Brian on mute there. <laughs> you are going to scare all the new recruits going to the Kong, you know. This is gonna be like a horror story for them, you know. When he came back though, did he continue scaring you guys or he, he... No 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 no. He became scared a for life, man. Yeah, <laughs> scared. <laughs> scared for life. Not scared for life, but scared for life. Scared for life. <laughs> For me, I actually enjoy the filming process the most uh, throughout 1 to 4 because there is one constant which is our director Jack Neo because he has a very unique way uh, of letting us know how he feels about each take we do okay. Especially if we screw up uh. Next, how about, how about you give a good take then Noah, you give a bad take So if we do something well, uh, you should already know already you say like, cut, good take uh, then you know this is a good take Let the world okay. do the, the bad take because he hear bad the most take, uh. You, you hear the most on this one. Yeah, yeah you hear the most. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bad thing, he would snatch the walkie talkie and he would just. <laughs> 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 
why, why did you get so many bad takes? Okay, because he's I, just I bad. Listen, is that I I I I've, I've told this to many people. Already, okay, I actually perform really really well. Right, when you yeah. guys are just not on set. So is we have a problem, uh. <laughs> You are the problem. You guys are the problem. I perform my best, right? Like every time, one, two, take, one, two, take, one, two, take. It's just not when you guys are on set. Seriously, eh, bro, I did four movies with you. Whenever I'm not around, you will tell me, wow, Jack Yeo say, wow, he's so good. He clap at the end, eh. But whenever I'm on set, uh, I never see any of it, right? Uh. The yeah. rest of the other actors can vouch for me, uh, on set. Just, I do so well. Just that I don't know why I can't perform when you guys are there, eh. Oh, well, you interpret it however you want. <laughs> <laughs> when you're finished filming, did you all take any mementos on set? Wow, oh, yes, I definitely did. Don't worry, it's not illegal. It's Josh actually th- likes to steal things. Eh? Yeah, he take grenade home. <laughs> oh, so they all your uniform from the... <laughs> yeah, I upranked myself because I was sick of being a recruit. So I upranked myself to uh, <laughs> Third Sergeant Ken Chow. I want to ask, ask Noah, aside from all the bad memories on set, what else do you take away from filming ABTM? Like, stuff ah. Yeah. I never take anything on set, but I do have this like life-size poster of me downstairs. Okay, I think it may not be worth the while lah because if it's of you and life size. Yeah, why why have a photo of you? Or I keep a photo of you, I wouldn't, right? That's that's just weird, right? Looking back at your characters um, across one to four, is there anything that you guys would do differently? Oh, well, definitely, man. I would take a acting masterclass before I I joined the Arbus event because honestly, I was so raw. I wouldn't have done anything differently, lah. Because then you miss out on the learning process, ah. You see, if we come on set knowing what to do already as a first time, then it's like you take away the fun and the joy of diving into it and learning. Hey, bro, what you say? Oh, bro, you may think it's fun, but all of us standing opposite you, waiting for you to finally not screw up, ah. Because you don't like learning. Did he improve across the the? The, the series, I hope he did like the number of NGs. No, no, it's <laughs> still the same. From what to what, still a lot. Yeah, he got it even worse. Eh. <laughs> After so long, do you guys feel like you are typecast as your ABTM characters? For the first four years for myself, uh, yes, very bad. I guess directors could only see me as like goody two shoes. They want me to play like the best student or some nerdy dude. It sort of like pushed me to improve on myself. How can I like break through like this stereotype? So that's why I decide to lose weight. They show uh, that hey, yeah, I can like do other stuff if I'm slimmer. I've always been typecast as the the abeng. But as what Maxi said lah, I mean, it's one thing to be typecast and another thing to be trying to break out of that typecast. You see, so you can show people that you're actually more versatile than you are. I, I used to be quite put in the mold a bit until I, I had enough of it. So for ABTM four, I decided I'm gonna do the other way. From Maxi, I'm gonna gain weight. <laughs> I gained, I think, 20 kg because I was just sick and tired of being like uh, mommy's boy or the the boyfriend, and uh, I think it worked lah. When you guys started filming the first series, were all of you kind of like clicking well together, or was there friction among the cast and everything? <laughs> because you guys are so you have such great chemistry. Actually, it's unbelievable. This chemistry is trained over time, one, you know. Everybody's first impression of Correct. Right, what right, if right. everybody it was very it very bad? Like, no, it, you were horrible. You the, I hated yeah. you the yeah, most. I Everyone I hate her you bro, I hate you, same, same. This is neutral. After we all got our rules already, you know, he go and do his teeth, pull out his wisdom, wisdom teeth, so no, he did got... Oh, hang on, I was off. in NS. So I did all my wisdom tooth. All, all for a wisdom teeth, actually. I mean, free lah. So my first time when I met them, right, I was looking a bit like a hamster lah. And I couldn't really speak properly. So that was the first impression they had of me. But No, hey, no, no, that's not all. Eh. Discriminate, that's not all no. that. You're only a you're missing. You only touch the thing. Oh, yeah. Josh, you must quiet for a while. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So like he would like come to meet us, you know, and uh, he would hold a book in his hand to show that he you know he's very bookwormish. This yeah. is all your insecurities coming out. he would out, no. he would like uh, wear like a button shirt, white button shirt, slippers, mm-hmm. shorts with a pair of shades, holding the book, and not talk to a single one of us. Where we are all like in one corner, you know, he will just like chit chat among himself. Josh will be the only one that's in another corner reading his book. Elite. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he does give us the face that you know, we, we he give us the face that we, like we did something wrong, eh? You're like, huh. Okay, let me tell you the reason. I couldn't click with you guys because you all talk Chinese and Hokkien a lot and I seriously, I didn't understand. Especially Wei Liang. And in the movie, I have to be his buddy. Eh. Recently, I've been watching Netflix again for ABTM1. 
actually I can notice very clearly that I totally don't understand a single thing coming out of <laughs> Weidang's mouth during all my scenes together. You know? Oh, is he finishing? Ah, I think finishing. Okay, save my life. What's your lot? No, like I'm just so embarrassed. But I must say that Joshua is a very hardworking guy. He really puts a lot of work. Like uh, he couldn't say a, a bit of Mandarin, but right now his Mandarin is really good, and he's even yeah. gotten himself in some Hokkien drama. So that is really impressive, uh, Given that yeah. he's so amopai and elitist, can, can go can... down, can humble himself and do all this. I really must. <laughs> <laughs> That's very impressive. With such a strong bond among the cast members, right? Has your girlfriend or, or your wife, you know, kind of joked and said, hey, you know, like, oh, how some you know? Actually, we found out after like so many years and after like so many movies, right? All along, we have been cheating on our partners. We are cheaters. <laughs> we cheat on them with the boys. Really. <laughs> Every anytime we are not with our partners, right, it's with them. All the late nights we are texting, uh, is the boys. Yeah, in the toilet laughing also with the boys. I think uh they've had to accept certain things about our dynamics which uh may not be considered uh, socially healthy lah. Actually, Max, how does uh, Liz think about our relationship? Well, she loves us. Uh, she loves us. She's very understanding. Yeah, lo, that's why I can marry ma because so understanding. Actually, speaking of, um, actually wanted to check in with you, Maxi. Like, you know, we are gonna be a dad soon for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. How, how are you feeling? Are you are you nervous? You know, like how how are you preparing for the arrival of your child? Uh, right now I'm very excited. Uh, she's healthy. I'm just making sure she's happy all the time. I think it's gonna be a smooth delivery, and uh, my child is a boy, so. Very happy and excited. Uh. And for Joshua, you know, like, are you guys gonna be the fun kind of friend or uncles that uh, that Maxi Sam will see? Like, how, how do you guys envision your your roles in 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 the child's life? Josh will be the the uncle that is too stuck up to talk to the son. I <laughs> 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 will be the protector. You know. I will be the protector. You know why not? All these mm-hmm. other godfathers are gonna be one of the worst influences this poor little child is gonna have in his life. So I will be the angel. I'll be the uncle that shows him the meaning of fun. Like see, you rather your son have friends than your yeah. son to be in one corner with a book and shades, right? Correct. Correct. And um, the the Our Boys Men Four came out in twenty seventeen, so that's about like almost three years or three years ago. Do you guys know if there's any plans to make more? Are you guys coming back together to do anything? Based on director Jack's Instagram, I think he mentioned that there is a very high chance that we will be filming uh, Our Boys Men Part Five uh, next year. Mm. Yeah. Uh, twenty twenty two will be our ten year anniversary, so I think it will all gel inside, you know, pretty nicely. We started filming when it's twenty twelve, and if we release the finale on twenty twenty two, I think that will be amazing. I hope all the timelines do kind of like come together for you guys and I think that's that's the end uh, of, of our session. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing all of your stories and being so open. It's it's really great. I had to like secretly wipe away my tears from all the laughter. <laughs> but yes, I, I hope I get to see you guys again in 2022. Um, I hope the next time we're talking will be about Our Boys the Man 5 and you know your 10 year anniversary and I think um, that's it. So I will say goodbye to you guys first and you can say bye to the audience. Bye! Hey, bye guys! Okay, bye. Bye guys. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, this is the end of this week's episode of E Junkies. Uh, wow, that was that was such a thrill. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did hosting the reunion of our boys the men here. Um, we are very glad that they are so open about their stories and um, you know all the insights and the memories that they shared. So if you enjoyed our episode of E Junkies, do remember to support us by giving us a like and subscribing to Asia One for more similar content. And don't forget that this will be released as a video on our social media platforms and as a podcast on Spotify. So check us out. Bye.